Listen, he can't do what you do, okay, Rico? Come on. Come on. You know what it is. You are barely four weeks pregnant. What? I'm just some dude you call when you ain't getting what you need from old boy? Rico, can we, can we not? No. I love you and you know this. How long does it take to become pregnant after six? Well, it can take up to six days for the sperm and egg to join, uh -huh. and another three or four days for fertilization. Okay, sisters fans, so look, I know y'all are sick of me doing these pregnancy videos in such a short amount of time, but I actually went back to watch the scene in Season 1, Episode 8, Old Fateful, when Rico came by uh, Karen's apartment. Now, this was the same episode where, you know... Her and Zach went at it, and she just tore him up. Made him tear up in front of Aaron outside of her own house. Then, of course, you know, you had Aaron telling her off about how she has a, you know, sharp tongue and has a very poor way of speaking to a man, tearing him down instead of building him up. And as a result of both men in her life literally leaving her you know just like what the hell is going on she calls up rico and if i'm able to get the scene i'll insert all the audio um at some point in the video so be aware of that um so let me see okay we're about the minute mark now if i can get the scene i will actually put the audio in the video right now and if not you'll just hear my voice in like a second listen he can't do what you do okay rico come on no it is <clears throat> Look, why didn't you ever date me? Oh, Rico, come on. You know we're really good friends. We're really good friends. Come here, Rico. Come on. Look. Just, come on. Wait, wait, wait. I want to talk. No, Rico, we talk no, no, too no. much. No, no, no. We never get to talk. I know, Rico, on purpose. Come on, Rico, come on. Sit down, sit down. Okay. Wait, well, you know how I feel about you. You? What? I'm just some dude you call when you ain't getting what you need from old boy? Rico, can we, can we not? No. I love you and you know this. Rico. No, 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 no. As much as I want to give you all this, I know you're playing me. So now this, we not doing this. I got something better now and I came here to tell you that face to face. I'm getting married so I need you to lose my number. <laughs> and you're going to miss this tongue and this... You just came here to humiliate me then no i came here to free me have a good life karen enjoy the wine the hell is going on with me right now okay well regardless if the audio was in or not just to do a quick recap um you know like karen told rico you know what this is and rico even called it out like basically I'm the guy you call up for, you know, when you need to have sex for your needs because old boy Zach ain't acting right. You know, he brings over some wine. Uh, surprise, she even called him because for a while now, it seems, she's been ignoring his text messages. And it's like, well, you know, I got this situation going on. And look, you know, he stays here a lot. Basically means that you can't swing by because Zach stays with her. But um, apparently, apparently, he really loves Karen. You know, the way she knows he feels about him is obviously why he's the, you know, old reliable. But the thing is, you know, despite his feelings for her, they've never dated. They've never been exclusive. He's just the one to call upon as a reserve when her main options aren't acting right. Basically, as Laura told Calvin, you know, I was in a relationship, but you were a side piece, but now you're my main piece. So... It's funny because this man is actually waking up. He literally said, look, because she literally rips open a condom and is holding it in this entire scene because instead of talking, she wants to get it on. Like, look, he can't do what you do. Look, I got something better. I came to tell you in person. I'm getting married. <laughs> and look, I know you're going to miss this tongue and this, you know, D-I-C-K. They uh, bleeped it out, but lose my number. And she just stands there. It's like, so you just came to humiliate me? No. I just came to free me, have a nice life, and enjoy the wine. When I looked at certain scenes of this episode, like how Aaron talked to Karen about how she tore down Zach and whatnot, and then how, you know, um, how Rico told off Karen, 
it definitely gave me Tyler Perry play vibes because I remember uh, watching one of the movies. I think it was uh, Why Did I Get Married? The play with uh, some of my cousins back in the day. And I remember uh, my older cousin, she was like, see, that's the thing about these Tyler Perry plays. There's no man who's ever going to just talk like that. Basically say everything a woman wants to hear and mean it like that. I thought that was just hilarious and that stuck with me. I was like maybe 11 at the time. But essentially, I'm wondering if, you know, look, obviously her pulling out the condom means that it's a clear indication whenever she and Rico would have sex, it will be protected. And I said, yeah, that means that Rico most likely isn't the father. But at the same time, who's to say Rico isn't the only old reliable that Karen can call upon? I mean, who's to say she doesn't have backup number two? Like, you know, Andy comes over for a while, but then, you know, she leaves. So it's like, so did Karen call somebody else to come over? Mm -hmm. But I'm really thinking that based on her reaction in the hospital, Zach isn't the father of the baby. It could be Aaron's, but the four-week thing, you know, with the timeline continuity of Tyler Perry, that could be completely inaccurate. So, I'll, I'll say this. If it isn't Zach's baby or Aaron's, it is definitely a side piece or someone, you know, Karen has had sex with we don't even know about. Because I'd find it interesting for Rico to go, I'm getting married. You know what? And I came to free me. So, it's just one of those things where, wow, imagine if he's actually not free because... Karen's carrying his child which would reveal a lot because imagine if it's it's revealed Rico was the father and then it you know gets to Zach so you're saying whoa so you were messing around with him while we were together which honestly Zach has no um ability to cast judgment based on how many times he cheated on Karen even giving her an STD at one point so you know sticks and stones but um yeah just re-watching this scene it's like Zach obviously had his body count, but Karen might have a few herself. I mean, remember in the haves and the have-nots with Veronica as the series went on, we found out this woman was cheating on David left and right. So after all the time she's been paranoid, accusing David of cheating, and she has quite the uh, body count, you know? So with Karen, you just never know. It could be Rico or someone we just never expected, which again could be Tyler Perry repeating if loving you was wrong with an unknown... Um, or somebody we didn't even think about being a potential baby daddy. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And yeah, it really is weird, but in a good way to kind of look at these old episodes and see how some of the characters have changed in terms of appearance and whatnot and how they do things. But yeah, something tells me Karen probably got something shady going on we don't know about. So thanks so much for tuning in. Um, I do appreciate the support on the channel. Hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Hit subscribe and hit that bell icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel.